We were invited to come and, um, uh, by Vita mm -hmm. and, uh, because we were representing a, a Georgian photographer um, and she wanted to include her in this quinter section of the fair. And, and then Andreas Uber, with whom we share artists, and he's based in Vienna, invited us to share the booth, um, which is great. It means we get a big booth and we get to kind of team up and, and also discuss our own projects we want to work on together later. <laughs> You like Vienna? Yeah. It's cool? Yeah. Because we work with an artist who's based in Vienna, Rudolf Polanski. Um, it, was, it was just very nice for a young gallery in Vienna to be seen to be showing Rudolf. He's on the booth here. And um, yeah, happy marriage. I do think that it's, um, there are too many art fairs um, because I think it makes us all become absent landlords from our gallery. But this is where the collectors come to. They've got used to coming to the fairs, so in fact, the only way to meet new people is to come to them. A necessary evil, perhaps. I think the fair was sold on the idea that there, was, there were going to be these kind of mythological kind of Russian oligarch figures kind of wandering around. The point is, these people, they, they don't know who we are. They're going to feel much more comfortable talking to other gallerists from the Balkan. So it's probably no accident that the people we met here are also based in Vienna or actually further west. We did meet one Russian, very nice gentleman, but when I asked him whether he was an oligarch, he said no, just very well off. <laughs> <laughs>